Semantic priming is a research method that serves as a measure of semantic information processing. This means that it helps understand the connection between concepts in the mental lexicon. Semantic priming is used to detect and understand the structure of the semantic memory. Studies have shown that priming activates and stimulates related ideas that are stored in the brain. Semantic priming artificially elicits this response, thereby giving us a way to study unconscious acts of the mental lexicon. In an experiment by James Neely, he uses and studies semantic priming. He studies the brain's processing and activation following priming as well as the extent of the effect. Semantic priming is performed with a subject first being presented with a prime, followed by a semantically related target. The presented stimuli could be anything from pictures or words to auditory signals. An example is a primer of nails can cause an increased response to target hammer. Different aspects can be added to basic semantic priming to gather data for different experiments. These things can include eye tracking or a distractor. In Neely's study, he uses different aspects by having different degrees of relatedness and by changing the time between prime and target. Semantic priming discovers how things are connected within the mental lexicon. It also reveals more about and confirms current theories involving the mental lexicon structure. Studies can show interconnections within the lexicon and why activation of certain things happen. Studies reveal webs of connected concepts, ideas, words, and sounds within the lexicon. The structure of the lexicon can also be studied in children, the elderly, or people with speech disorders as they may differ from those of a regular subject. The study by Neely confirms that previous studies on semantic priming are true in their theories of how spreading activation works, as well as how the mental lexicon is structured. It also found the limit on how long the effect lasts. Semantic priming, and more the overall concept of priming, has led to many different end goals. These include perception, language, and memory, which all have the goal of seeing how different tasks or concepts work in the lexicon when primed. The idea of behavior priming has also arisen in that a person can be primed to act a certain way by giving them a primer action or idea. Semantic priming also has the potential to predict human behavior based on the structure of their lexicon and how things are connected. Neely found that people use expectations to form their behavior in tasks like these. Semantic priming reliably produces a response in the short term. However, if too much time is allowed in between the primer and the target, the true effect will not be seen. This method is also very valuable because of its flexibility, this being that it can be altered to provide more or different data about the mental lexicon. Additionally, this method is easily put into practice and a wide variety of stimuli can be used. However, some people may not elicit a response. Furthermore, a category of stimuli can only be activated once because performance increases with priming and will affect results. Neely had to go through multiple testing phases to find word pairs that didn't interfere with each other.